up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. In this video, I just want to share a quick compositing tip that you can use to create masks of the bright or dark parts of your image in a very simple way, and that is using the Extract tool inside of After Effects. I've been using this tool a lot recently in both some of the Spider-Fi trailer shots and this explosion promo composite for Chaos in Blender 2.92. So as you can see here, this is uh, our final composite of our explosion, and uh, we can just play through it here really quick. So as you can see, a uh, nice uh, little explosion here. I don't know why this guy is walking toward the explosion and doesn't react, not important. Uh, the effect I'm going to be talking about in this video is the extract tool and how it applies in this video is for the reflection here. So as you can see here in this composite, we have our main explosion pass, then we have our emission pass that we've used to add some glow to our explosion. Then we have some color correction, we've added some shock waves, our rock debris field and our shadow passes. And finally here at the bottom, we have two different layers that we're using to uh, add our explosion reflection here. So I'll go ahead and turn them off really quick. So as you can see, now we no longer have a reflection. And to create a basic reflection when your footage is fairly locked like this, all you have to do is just duplicate your main explosion pass layer and then turn it upside down here, which is exactly what we've done. As you can see here, I can just drag and flip this back around and it's just literally a reverse of our main explosion beauty pass. So nothing really fancy there. Uh, we've just kind of lined it up so it would be in the reflection of the water. But the trick I want to show you guys is how you can isolate and use the extract tool to get that uh, mirrored reflection that we've added on top of our scene to only show up at the bright parts of our image here where the water is present. Obviously we wouldn't have the reflection on the uh, you know dry dirt here but only where the uh, water is reflecting the sky. So instead of masking out the water and then putting that on top of your explosion layer what we can do in cases like this where the footage we would like to mask and the rest of our footage is uh, significantly different in brightness is we can use the extract tool here so as you can see here I'll just go ahead and start from scratch here what I've done here is I've duplicated our live action footage here and I've called it footage mask overlay and as you can see when I turn it on using the eyedrop tool it just goes on top of our explosion reflection so we're going to use our live action footage on top of our reflection and mask it out using the extract tool. So I'll just go here to effect and then I'll go to keying. And there are a variety of different techniques you can use to extract different parts of the image and apply a mask to it. But as I mentioned, we're going to be using the extract tool here. So I'll just select that. And what we can do here is we can go to the white point setting here and start dragging it over to the left. And as you can see, when we get far enough, it's starting to isolate and mask out any point that is not brighter than the white point that we've created. So as you can see here, it's perfect for isolating the reflective water in this image. And uh, what we can do here is just once we find a nice point for it, we can drag the white softness here and we can feather the effect of it a little bit to uh, blend it into the scene a bit more. So uh, just a little technique you can use to mask out certain parts of your image and use that as an overlay for other effects in your scene. As you can see, when we uh, isolate it by itself, it's just isolating the points that are darker than the white point that you set for it and using the rest as a mask on top of whatever is below this layer. So pretty much you can use this as a mask anytime you're trying to isolate darker or brighter parts of your scene and you realize that those brightness values would be an effective mask input. Anyways guys, this is just a short quick tip for today. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.